Okay, sorry. I tried. It, it won't work. The live stream. And we've, we've recorded a live stream in this shell station before. It's not working today. That was my whole channel, people. I'm trying to tell you that the live stream hooked up with YouTube. If you're planning to film yourself being like in an altercation, which you might need a little bit of backup, it's not going to happen. So that was the WTF experience. We tried doing it everyone else's way. Look what happened to me. Now I'm just going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm having a, uh, an incident. Now, the cops can tell me and start telling me which place is public. The guy can stop telling me, yeah, we're letting you use the bathroom. When I've been coming there for 20 years, I worked for a Lyft, Uber. Do you know how much gas I've put in there? Do you know how much money? You guys have watched me. How many of those sports drinks? How many cigarettes packs? How many? And the guy's just going, yeah. And she will not insist. Like, no, I can film you. They just keep going, you can't. And then they look away. And she has no idea what I was saying. She did not give me one phrase. She walks away just going, gets the Gustavo, right? Or was it Rudolfo? I've talked about all of them. Why aren't you calling me? I gave you that phone number. Why aren't you calling them right now? Going, they're doing it again to him. There's like 141 of you, 142. There was 33 who, who watched the last live stream. 33 people watched it. I asked, please, a dollar. I just need 10 people to put in a dollar. And nobody did. But people wrote like, nice comments. But I, right, we needed the $10. I mean, they should let you use the bathroom, even if I didn't buy anything, right? It's never been cleaned. They're in so much shit, right? They let me use the bathroom, what, all those times that it's been out of order because of the COVID and they can't clean it? And she's the one. Nayeli is the one who doesn't want to clean. And that's why there was this incident. There was a problem with the key. Someone else took a key. Someone else smoked in here. I have ever since been totally indignant saying, hey, why don't you search me? <laughs> Bring the cops. You know what I mean? And they're, they're still thinking, oh, we're going to tell you that you can't do that. No, they're being sued. That dude, Rudolfo Nayeli, they ain't working anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Jeremiah, they're your team. Sorry, not Jeremiah. Jeremy. Jeremy, the shell mogul. Yeah. Come save your team. That's what I'm gonna do with you. I'm gonna do that with you, Jeremy, owner of the Shell Station. I know where you live. There's your key. I'm out there. Call the cops. You're, you're going to be schooled. Cool. You're going to be schooled. You're online. The whole world is going to watch you and you, Nayeli, be schooled. Hey, man, they're trying to kick me out. I'm going to film. You'll be my witness. Where's the public access here? They, they were like, we let you use the bathroom. I'm like, I've been coming here for 20 years. Of course you let me use the bathroom. Just, is the, where, but he's like, you can't be here. I'm calling the cops. And I'm like, no, I know there's a public thing. I'm filming this. It's my First Amendment right. They don't even know what it is. I said, do you know what the First Amendment right is? They're like, calling the cops. I said, you're going to be schooled, Rudolfo. You're going to be schooled, Gustavo. You're going to be schooled, Nayeli. But I got to be standing on the public easement. Do you know where it is? I'm in the handicap zone. They can take me out for that though, huh? Well, I'm mentally handicapped because I don't have a placard. Yeah, I'm going to go in front of their uh, trash can. That's what I thought, right? Oh, by take a vacuum? Thanks, bro. That's right. We're going to vacuum our car. That's Dave. The Uber homeless guy. 
he happens to be there. This is meant to be, people. Thank you. It doesn't matter if you didn't put money in, if you weren't there to support me. Thanks for at least, if you're watching this now, you understand now? Do you understand what all those other videos were? Instead of being like, dude, you're harassing them. They harassing me. If I, every morning I wake up feeling that injustice and I walk in there and I'm telling him, I've been here for 20 years coming here. And the guy hasn't been coming there. Now, yeah, he hasn't gone, but they don't understand what I'm saying. I'm just going blah, 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 blah. And he's saying, we're being nice. We're allowing you to use the bathroom. They should allow everyone. It's COVID. It should just be a nice thing you allowed to use the bathroom so yeah let's just vacuum and what do we got we got what do we got for the cops <laughs> we got marijuana but it's legal and i'll just say it wouldn't be safe wouldn't be safe for me to be moving out oh look what i did damn i got pissed off huh i wonder if i broke the uh, i kind of broke the i was pounding it the neighbor started it and this is injustice, people. It is injustice that made this go this far. So I might be going to jail again. Don't know when I'll be back again. It would be nice this time when you guys do finally see the movie to try to help me. My phone number is 1-805-964-2171. <coughs> the best thing... <coughs> probably would be to call my mama since it doesn't seem like any of you know how to call the police or the fire department or any sort of injustice when it was happening to me nobody seemed to know how to protect me so I'm gonna protect myself and I'm just gonna sit here and, and, and just protest could you guys protest too could you None of this might even come out. I know, it's so ridiculous. I hate my job. You did a job, they said? Yeah. First Amendment auditor, I'm doing an audit. I have an issue with these people. All right, dudes, I mean, I'm gonna run out of hard drive. It's not allowing me to do the, uh... God, the battery's going dead. It's probably not gonna make it when the cops are here. So what I'm gonna do, dudes, I'm gonna cut it off. And the minute they get here, YouTube is notifying me. We are now taking down your channel because you are not being a good citizen. No, the citizens aren't being good. Why are you attacking me? I will stop. I, this is the last time I get pushed out. This, I'm taking a stand. It happened. You know why? Let's blame it on the neighbors. But right now, I am here. I'm at those addresses. You know I've been parked here for a complete two years. So there's numbers. You know how to get here, any of you, and help me. There's not even anyone here. And they were still complaining. You know, you're causing a scene. They're able to say these words that they don't even know what it means. And I'm going, where? There's nobody here. The last time I caused a scene, sure. But I stopped it before the scene went too far. Do you want this one to go into madness? I don't think they believe that they, that I am who I am. And I am right now very, very mentally unstable. Don't 
push me because I'm close to the edge. Right? I'm trying hard not to lose my head. Help me here, people. Please, what else can I do? I'm begging you. Help me in some way, please, today, soon. Thank you. I'm gonna try to upload this one and then I'll charge the battery. I'll erase everything on the hard drive and I'll reset it and hopefully I'll have all that done before they show up. And I think I got about 10 minutes here of hard drive so I'll be able to at least get the first 10 minutes of the interaction. Now if any of you can get down here who are close by and can start filming on your end, that would be really, I'm really begging the YouTube community. I haven't asked you for any help. I'm asking you now for the help. I mean, I did ask in very little bits, but nobody would do it. I mean, I did get help. I'm monetarily, that was great. People have helped me, so I'm not saying, I'm just saying in, in, in the case of the injustice of my neighbors, in, in the case of where my mental issue has gone, in the case of this particular gas station, the shell harassing me for two years, it stops here before I go to slabs. This shell and Jeremy, your whole chain is going down. And you're just going to remember this face going. Do you know what the First Amendment of the Constitution is? Do you know how much three times 75 cents is? Do you know that it's not nice to accuse somebody that you don't know, especially when they've been coming 20 years before you were even working here or even born? You, you don't have any respect for seniority. After I given you all that money and was doing everything your way and allowing your bathroom to be fucking disgusting during the COVID times, till now I'm pointing it out, right? So now I'm gonna bring in the syringes I found the other time. I'm taking out all the photos I have. I am taking out every single bit of footage. You guys are so done. And you just looked at me both. If you wanna look in the other way, not in the eyes, just going, you are so right. And the yell, you are so wrong. You should apologize. Rudolfo Gustavo, she just went directly to him. Yeah, maybe he understands what the dude's saying. Yeah, he kind of does. But he's just saying, no, we're being nice. We're letting you use the bathroom. What? That's shell, people. After you've been going there for 20 years. After you've been using their products all over the United States. The chain, shell, gas station. Yeah, there's a conspiracy about them. That's another story. But here, there are a few padres that are now going to be annihilated. You're not working there. And that whole thing is going to make you rethink your system of how you deal with the customers who are supposed to always be right, but you guys don't get that, right? No, 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 they're wrong. That was my understanding. But they don't even say that was my understanding. They just, oh, me, da. Who does that? Mm, uh, mm, uh. After someone is trying to express themselves, do you know how hard it is for someone with mental issues to express themselves and you won't even look them in the eye so that you could understand their language a little better because it's not your language. That's not cool. Why is it against me that I didn't learn your language? Why don't you learn what I'm saying and understand it? Why does it have to just be, you'll understand, have a nice day. Can I have the key to the bathroom? Which pump am I on? You owe me money. They owe me money. Whatever the deal is, that's all you understand is take the money. Look away if they start to say anything. What the hell, America? What the hell? So, Shell, that's how you treat your mentally handicapped you kick them out of the handicap zone you make it a special deal that you're allowing them to use the bathroom after it's been closed for a month in covid times try to explain that all those days that i filmed me going and it just being like oh we're sorry out of order 
Yeah, that's where I learned that trick. I'm gonna find all you restaurateurs and others who were using this trick during the COVID. And you're still gonna be using it, but you're gonna have to change. We need to be able to wash our hands. If you don't allow us the bathroom to wash our hands, and if you make it a big deal, oh, we're allowing you at the Shell station that gets all these travelers, we're allowing them to wash our hands? Yeah. Now look, look how long I've been here, right? The incident started an hour ago. Right now, this is a 15 minutes in. And yeah, 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 they're gonna do it. They just wanted to get me out of their little section because everyone else was looking. The ones who are understanding English going, what the hell's going on? We've never heard this. Call the cops, I'm saying. Just like I'm furry potato. Call the cops, you're gonna be schooled. Just like any First Amendment auditor. And I just kept saying, I was shaking. And they don't shake. I was shaking like this because I'm being aggressed. I don't even want to do this. This isn't my job. I'm not a First Amendment auditor. That was always a joke. Hey, sir. Yes. How are you doing today? Hi. I was just talking. I'm talking to the people about what's been going on with this gas station for what, two years. What's been going on? They have been. They accused me. Well, I've been coming here since the 70s, but they were accusing me of things. And I went and actually spoke to certain people and they said, yeah, it wasn't him. When did they accuse you? It was like four weeks ago. It was like okay. right before the bathroom suddenly okay. stops working. And I spoke to this, the lady there, Nayeli. I spoke to Gustav. They know me all. They have been fine with me right. till this one case where I started filming. That's okay. the change. I've learned this First Amendment audit. They're, they're saying things like, hey, we let you use the bathroom. I'm saying, I've been coming in here getting gas every day. I work for Lyft and you've, they've seen me. I mean, I know the guys, this officer. Did they say anything to you about the smoking in the bathroom? That was it. That's oh, what they oh, accused oh. me. Was that and, four weeks ago or that was today? No, that was four weeks. Uh, today I just said, look, I'm going in. I've had a thing with Nayeli. Every time I say, look, since you've accused me, I am now filming myself right. each time. And I have this. This is online. It's on YouTube. There's proof. Okay. And it's more like that. I was going, I'll let it go. Right. But I, I, I live in this town. So there's, and I keep coming here. They haven't said it. There's no crime or anything. But they need to know that I, I can film. They were just yeah, saying, yeah. I can't stand there and film. Okay. And that I went, no, that's wrong. Do you know what the First Amendment... What's your name, sir? Misha, M-I-S-H-A. What's your last name? Horton, H-O-R-T-O-N. Mr. Horton, what's your birthday? What, what is your... My name is Officer Kerr. K -E -R -R. Kerr. Am, am I being accused of a crime? No. So I don't really need to give those words. So essentially what's, what's happening is they are requesting that you no longer come to this property. Yeah, you see that after, but that's not fair. Well, I, 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 I do my everything. They, they I do may the, not be fair, but they, they have the right to refuse to have you on the property. Just because, yeah. So For whatever which, reason. Everywhere. Just this property. But I mean, I can stand on the sidewalk there. Yeah, you could be on the sidewalk. So that's can't. what I'm going to do. I just want you to know, I will be parked over there, that's public. Fine. I'm going to take a sign. Totally I'm going to play my cello. I'm, I'm doing my First just Amendment letting, audit. I'm just you, letting you know that okay. you are on the property. You're going to come and take me off. But you personally didn't think I was doing something wrong. I haven't seen you do anything wrong. They have been accusing me, and I've been coming here 20 years. I just do this. Right. I clean my car. Oh. I get the gas. Oh. I use the hey, bathroom. Hey, Misha, I don't want any problems with you either. I, okay? I wasn't so, looking for problems. I'm just, this hey, is my Misha, first. you're free to go. All right, thank you. Okay. Wow, thank you people for being there. You guys were great. Thank you. All These right. are the good. I'm sorry I was yelling at the, right. at the police. That's that right. was the good police. Santa Barbara Police Department. Wait, can I get your badge number? Because you were great. 5206. 5206, and your name? Kerr. Kerr. Kerr, thank you. Misha, yep. thank you take for care. being so professional. All right, take care. Thank you. Well, it turned out well. Oh, nobody got fights. All right. We'll go out on the outside and film from the public. All right, we're going to... Uh, 2997. Dedicated to serve. Did. And. And. We're gonna come back. Oh, we're going across the street. So we're gonna even, you know, because we really, I forgot my registration's out, right? Let's not just sit there. 
and uh, we're gonna. Should we just park on the other side and, and let's go get a pan cart? We're gonna get a get a little. All right, I'll do that, people. If you watch this now and you get into the comments and you say, "All right, go back, get a pan cart." write down I'm protesting get on that section and I'll spend the whole day and I'll leave the car parked there if they come and they tow it I'll be okay with it but I just need that from you people I need I needed I was hoping it wasn't the police I was hoping it was one of you to go hey come on but it's never gonna be like that I learned and that's why I got scared off of taking off on my own and and just hoping that the people on, the, on YouTube will help me. Do you hear that brakes? I don't think anyone's been listening to how that those brakes aren't gonna make it to Slap City. I know, I told you already, but they weren't that noisy when I was telling you that. Now it's super noisy. When I drive away from the cops there, did you hear it? It was kind of obvious. But they didn't bother me for any of the other stuff. Why? Because they didn't want to get into the incident was about to happen. Notice how he said, well, we're not actually you know, but I gave him my two names. I shouldn't have had to, right? See how it didn't matter? And what did I give him this time? I gave him Michael Horton or did it, was it Misha? Or, I mean, it'll always be mixed up in their thing. And he just started writing in this little piece of paper. I think that paper's going out the door and they're just making sure, right? But I'm coming back. But they did mention, they're using this, the guy knew the smoking incident. They're just going to insist, even though the actual person who works there, the guy told them, both this Gustavo Rudolfo and this Nalani, they said he didn't do it. It wasn't him. And all of this was because I just told her, I said, hey, I, I'm just going in. Look at me. No cigarettes. I'm just saying I'm filming. And what did she say instead of being like, ah, oh, OK, or she could have been like she still thinks I'm the smoker that's okay no instead they insist they know a little more and she said you can't that's where it stops people if you say I can't film and you can't even say it and I go what's the First Amendment and you can't even say it and you need to go run get another dude who has with the police said yeah we're saying that he's smoking in the bathroom really do the three cops really have to come you stupid shell station to do this but yeah, it looks like uh, you're private. Ah, that's Santa Barbara, huh? You got a lot of private around you. Not much public easement anywhere. Well, we're gonna find it. We're gonna study. That would be stuff I could really use from you people if you could say, okay, I, I know all this. Furry Potato would have done this. Whatever you guys, whoever First Amendment Rice Krispies would have done this, Rice Krispies, you know, just tell me. But, you know, I contacted Rice Krispies when I got surrounded by those three bad citizens in the CVS, right? And I said, could they really do that? They all said it was like private. And Rice Krispies, who knows everything, and he's one of the best, said, ah, I don't know, Santa Barbara. Yeah, people. So I can't even like watch your videos and, 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 and go by your rules that sound really good. It's like that sounds all like California law, at least California police law. Right. But in fact, Santa Barbara, as you've learned, Johnny Five O, he's an auditor who learned the hard way. They might just win. huh? They did win. Yeah. You can only throw money at a lawyer and say, well, let's see what we can do. But here, I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a better chance, Johnny, because I've, I'm born and raised here. They still don't know my name. I've been going to that one place for two decades. Not filming, I've only been filming, what, since 2018? But I've been doing everything else. And it's just, I don't like to be accused of something I did not do and then have them continue it in their minds after being told by sources, yes, it's not him. And then not allowing me to explain my side of the story. Who does that? And then they're just like, well, I will call the police. And then they waited long enough for the police to, you know, you know, he wasn't going to send them right away. And you knew they weren't gonna come over right away. And you knew I was just sitting there and I was sitting there rolling a joint, right? There is, and he was like asking me, oh, is it about the smoking? See, they're trying to learn. So that's what the deal was. I was the culprit 
even though I told them, I only smoke in my car. Why are you doing this to me? Would you like to watch the video? They don't want to watch the video. Why is that? Maybe it's not acceptable in a court of law. I don't know. No, I think they just don't want to see that you point out, look, that's me again, not smoking. Why were you accusing me? No, they, they just don't want you there anymore. That is the last, I've been banned of them all. How is that supposed to be safe? And they're still saying, yeah, he's a, a criminal and we were nice enough to let him to use the bathroom. They're still not going, my God, no, no, wait a minute. He was talking about driving his little bicycle in here, his Schwinn five-speed pump. That's got to be like 1974. Where were they in 1974? Even the cops. Do you know what I mean? I'm the only one left in the... And they're all coming in going, what's your name? That's what they did when they broke into my house and took me out illegally. They said, what's my name? But that time I told them a different name, right? Or I think I just said, because I was having a mental problem. Yeah, I probably just, and you've seen my house. You've seen how it is. That's a hoarder's incident. It was so obvious that I was having a mental breakdown. And those two cops were just like there. Let's write this down. What's your name or we're taking you in? We didn't like what they said. That's what they told me. They're just like, Pfft. they said, all right, what's your side of the story? And I started the talk and they just went, bah, I didn't want, and I'm like, oh dude, are you gonna let me finish? And they're just like, they didn't like, they're like, you're not making a point. Or I just wasn't saying what they wanted me to hear. You know, it would have been like the thing, what he said there, is this about the smoking incident? And I go, well, no, it's more, it's so deep. The smoking incident broke it, but the guy didn't want to know. He was just like, okay because I, that's how I do the audit. I'll give you my name. I'll tell you the story. I only waited here in the end when I realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm filming. I should do what they do. First, be a good First Amendment auditor for the first time. So, right, I got his badge. First time I've done that. Talked to the guy, asked his name. Stop shaking. Did you see how I was shaking though in the shell? That's why I can't do this job. Because when I see two people going, oh, it's, um, yeah, I'm, yeah, and I understand what they're saying, even though they're not even speaking, they're just, they're, they're trying to find words, but they're looking at me and they're going like this. And I know exactly what they're thinking, what they're saying, what's going to happen, but they don't know what I'm thinking. And that makes me very mad because they need to know there now that they are gonna have me parked right there. And I'm gonna watch him come in and out. And I'm gonna start following you, Rudolfo. Would I say something like that? No, but I'm hoping now that my followers, please, can you start helping? Can you do this stuff that they've been talking about? I don't know, it's called docking, doxing. All I know is that you were able to get a SWAT team over to Marilyn Manson's house. He's only like an hour away from here. Why can't you do that for me? Why couldn't you get like the SWAT on Rudolfo and on the bad guys? You can, I know you got the chutch. If you are right now watching, you know how to talk, you know how to walk, you know how to read, you know exactly what this is going on. If you don't, you still know how to look and see a number, get an idea, see First Amendment, go, I think it's this. But no, I'm like going online to be like, going up to channels and going, dude, take that down. That is not sovereign citizen, that is not First Amendment. You're making a joke out of it. It's mean-spirited what you're doing. You're making money off of mentally illness and, and making a joke out of it when that's not the video. So that is switch, right? Bait and release, whatever. It's, it's fraud. So Nayeli there, you're a fraud, you're a big fraud and you couldn't look me in the eye so I know you're a really big fraud who cannot understand what I'm saying and the look in my eyes is causing you fear yeah and you don't care because you got yeah you got Rudolfo who now is going to be doxxed right because I've been filming his car and his license plate that people 
when you saw the license plate and you saw me going, yo, I'm getting mad at Gustavo. I'm getting mad at Rudolfo. This is an injustice. Nobody called Rudolfo. Nobody called Gustavo. Nobody took the VIN numbers. Nobody. So I, I've been doing this for a long time. And that only gives me the impression after this experiment of two years, the WTF, is that you do not have my back. That's sad. 142 people that I know, you know, I can't count on. They will not have my back in times of an emergency. And I was doing this whole live stream YouTube thing as a witness protection program that you guys would always be there to have my back. Get me out of jail the last time, right? When you saw me taking on nobody. They just started to question it after a week. Where have you been? Whatever happened there? Right? Maybe two people understood. The rest, I guess they just think that I'm doing these weird movies. No, this is real life, people. That, that just happened there. And that's happening all over the world. That's a chain. If those two people did what they did to me and brought in two more cops and just, that's what they do, to be like, you heard. We allowed you. We allow you to use the bathroom. That was the mantra. He repeated that when he talked to me the first time. We are allowing you to use the bathroom. No, I am allowing you to take all my money. The last time I had a trouble with Shell, it took out $80 from my credit card, overdrew everything. I get penalized, but not only that, it wouldn't take it wouldn't give me the gas. It only gave me like this other, it was the fault of the pump. It was the fault of the people inside. And they shook their head for the longest time going, nah, that it didn't happen like that. It, uh, you know, until the computer goes, oh yeah, I see it did happen. It was an error here. It fixes it. They put it back, of course. But Rudolfo was telling me, no, I was lying to them. It didn't happen. And I'm going, oh my God, I was just, they were like, nah, there was probably somebody there. How is that possible? I was like, you were in the bathroom, dude. There was nobody to go in and ask the chain. And he's waving. So Rudolfo, I'm pulling that video out because it just shows. If you sit and watch, you'll be like, well, no, dude, he spoke and then he left and he's gone. Where was he? You were doing meth in your car and I filmed it. That was a big mistake, what you just did. And remember, I said, Rodolfo, Gustavo, whoever, look, now you're like, you're on, you're online for everyone to see, and they're still, nom, 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 right? It was all blah, blah, blah. Nom, 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 I'm calling, da, 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 da. They're running the show. Da, 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 da. People like this, nom, 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 nom. and you're like, what, what, what was that? What did, did wait, why are you accusing somebody who does not need to be accused? And when you've been proven that it wasn't me from your own team member saying, no, it's this other person. You are sitting here in front of the police saying it's a smoking incident. That means you're a lying sack of crap. And that in court, it's not going to be good because I have filmed it. It doesn't... Nayeli, you're wrong saying you can't do that. You're all saying that. You are wrong. Can you all learn to be wrong, to accept it, to say, we're sorry, we will try it again. Nah, you're afraid of getting sued and you have to do it this way. Well, now, because you did it that way, you're all getting sued. You're not going to work there anymore. You were shaking. You're doing all that for that Jeremy boss guy or whoever. Maybe it's a different, maybe you're a different manager, owner. It doesn't matter. It's Shell. It does not matter. If I see you in France, Shell, I'll just take on whoever the person. I don't care if it's from a different country. I'm just going to say, this is for Shell. This is for Shell. And this is what you did to my daughter. And this is what you did to me. And this is when you tell me to lie. This is when you lied about it and that you will not let me speak. Rudolfo, Gustavo, do you have family? Bring them. Bring all a hundred. Because I'm just going to deal with the youngins. You hear that? That is my threat to you. Gustavo, I already told you I know where you live. 
I got your VIN number. Rudolfo, got your VIN number too. You're gonna be done in court. You're gonna feel like me. You're gonna be living in your car. And when you come up to use the bathroom, I'm just gonna shit in front of you and say, do it like you made me do it in a plastic bag for weeks. Fuck you, Shell Corporation.